Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the Wild Rift patch 5.0 preview. This was supposed to come out at midnight my time, but since the leaks have now been pretty much released everywhere, the Vietnam version on uh, Facebook actually revealed the patch preview before it was supposed to come out. So everywhere's like, okay, green light, embargo has been lifted. You can do whatever you want to now. Unfortunately, the English version of this video has not been released yet. So I will be watching the Brazil version, but my embargo has been lifted. So you'll probably see a lot of details now on social media about so many new skins and new champions and everything like that coming out. We're going to be reacting to the video though, seeing what's going to be happening in patch 5.0, which is going to be releasing, I believe the 18th of January. So it's only about two weeks away so we don't have to wait too long now until patch 5.0 and a new patch for a new year so let's get things started obviously we're going to start hey, off with the David champions here. at the start you're going to see the uh, brazil uh Here subtitles at the bottom but shout happen? out to my brazil oh, fans i know i have quite a few uh, brazil people that watch my watch my streams and watch my videos Ride heights, champions, champions. I guess it's champions. Syndra is our first champion. This champion is incredible. Control mage in the mid. Really, I actually my uh, main in the mid lane. Such a cool champion. Love this champion. She's gonna be really, really strong. Talon is the next champion. I, even though they say Talon is a mid laner, I actually think Talon's going to be more of a jungler than a mid laner. This champion is going to be incredibly powerful. Look at this. Like, you can just jump over walls freely. It's going to be scary how quickly he can roam around the map for Wild Rifts. He's going to be really fun to play as well. Kindred. Not too sure why the voice changes here for the patch preview. I think that's a re-record here. I love Kindred as well. Kindred, pretty much an AD carry, a marksman, but is primarily a jungler because of his passive and because of, you know, his other things. Or their other things, I should say. Because there is two Kindreds. There's two of them. I keep saying he, but yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Aurelian Soul getting his rework. Finally! It's been forever since we've been waiting for this rework. So this could be very very similar to the pc the league version where you can fly around you can shoot out beams it's pretty scary on the outside and don't get me wrong he is but behind the belly beard and barrel lies a delicate soul and who are we to not have a smoother gameplay probably a gragas rework i guess as smooth as the ale that he's always drinking yumi, loves her yumi rework as well they really need to just sort out yumi this champion is so annoying to deal with and we're not doing her justice quite yet. We have tweaked some of her abilities and improved the consistency of how she's able to- I hate Yumi. I'd rather they delete Yumi instead of update Yumi. <laughs> oh, Wukong as well? I actually think Wukong's not a bad champion. I think the champion's actually pretty good. Wukong is able to sustain and stick around and fight for longer. Oh, his clone now is, seems to be moving. Monkey King is now even more devilish by improving his clones. They can now mirror his Nimbus strike. Oh, that's really good. Oh, they now follow with your third ability. So now the, the clone can basically follow on your third ability and then you can use your ultimate afterwards. That's that's really, really powerful. ...from the rest of the map and are locked into their one-on-one duels. To give them more opportunities for our place, we've added an alcove to the lane. This additional... Okay, they're adding alcove. They're only adding alcove to Baron lane though, which is really interesting. ...jungler on new gank strategies. If you don't know what the alcove is, it's a it's a little basically little how can you call it? Little like dip, I guess you can say in the lane. It's like a little dip. Are still coming from Aram to the main Wild Rift map and Titanic Hydra coming. Spirit Shojin as well. There's quite a few new items to be fair. To top it all off. We'll be Spirit Shojin is going to be really, really good for bruisers. So check out the new patch notes for more item. Okay, so item reworks as well. Your own lane in the early stage of the game is usually a solid strategy. However, we also know that when you leave you to help your teammates or take another objective, those past key siege minions can make it tough to get your own lane back under control. So to take pressure off, we've replaced the periodic siege minions with new slightly weaker minions 
Oh, this is the minion changes. I did a video on this a while ago because it was on the on the preview. That was really, really, that was really interesting that they they added it to the beta, the English beta version, but then they didn't add it to the game until now. This is a really, really good change. Rift Herald now ignores the minions and goes straight for the tower. Really, really good change. Doesn't matter where you activate now, just run straight towards the tower and headbutt the tower. You won't get distracted by minions or anything like that. A really, really good change for Rift Herald. Makes Rift Herald even stronger, in my opinion. Even though it is already stronger than Drake. Is as exciting for us as it is for you. We get to experience what works, what doesn't, then improve it. So thank you to everyone who has tried the arena in our last patch update. You've given us some valuable feedback to make arena even more enticing. With this change comes 20. Yes, 20 New Year's Dragon themed augments to help you fly. Okay, 20 new augments to arena mode, Pog. Part of our beloved Ruterra universe, which is why we're adding some NPCs that should be well known to some of you. And you now get the opportunity to battle an AI host during your vice, so you're always in the midst of the battle action, regardless of the round. To make arena even more worthwhile, okay. there will be new bonuses, rewards, and augments. Plus, they're adding ais and npcs i'm not too sure what that is maybe that's just versus ai your own team's progress or want to compare your stats to other duels we are giving you a new platform to see your growth through the game mode. okay they're and adding the arena rank same with pc league and intense to give you a little breather on your road to victory we've added an all of clash in the ninth round where all the remaining teams fight together this will give you the opportunity to win rewards and experience without losing any health. Come out of this refreshed and strengthened to finish your fiery mission. In standard okay. mode, cooldowns are a critical aspect of gameplay and counterplay. We then broke all those rules with Earth, and now we want to try a new hybrid mode called Double Cast. Double Cast. Never ending spell sling of Earth, Double Cast provides specific windows where your abilities fully refresh. And so whether you want to draw Venn diagrams with a moon result or let Jinx send double rockets, we hope this What the hell help is this? It's kind of a cool mode, I guess. I never really played these exclusive modes, but it's kind of cool. It brings the fun, a, a fun aspect. And so after a number of attacks, your next auto will count as a double hit, applying all the oh my God. Of attacks twice. And these That's are kind of scary. Major game modes that we are excited about for next patch. We cannot wait for the mayhem you will create with them on the rift. New year, new season. This patch will kick off Rex season 12. And season 12, baby, another one. season. Xinjiang will be added to your rank store. <laughs> and as a special another season to make legendary queue even more exciting, watch this space for renewed rewards coming your way. Okay, new legendary ranked rewards, Xin Zhao skin as well. Wild passes. First up, we have a wild passes? We, didn't, we get double wild passes again? Vagar. Most likely, I guess. Vega? What the hell is this? Even as he wields his big candied fruit skewer, he will bring darkness What the hell is this? That's really the weird. Pass <laughs> is a bit on the snappy side, so watch your fingers. Black Frost Renekton is oh, Black Frost Renekton. This is a PC Karina League skin, isn't it? Of the Black Frost Army. This is a the really good skin as well. I think it's Renekton is one of Renekton's best skins, in my opinion. Evento? I guess I that's Event. Renekton Soul is going to be really good with the, the rework, I think. In this ruling year marks the return of the dragon, bringing with it plenty of Ooh, champion requests, so dragons. Envelopes open for the Dragon Lantern skins and much more. And as this patch moves on, we have even more to celebrate. More dragons? Oh no, David. But <laughs> David loves his dragons. Watch out for Cupid throwing Valentine specials your way. Valentine? What did, what did you say? Valentine Open skins? Here, we got new skins to share. New Whether skins! A totally Woo! healthy dragon obsession like yours truly. Here we go. Calling, more in the, the best novel. part of the video. The, skins the skin highlights. Dawnbringer Akshan and Dawnbringer Draven. Okay, they're both new. Nightbringer Kane. Nightbringer Trendemir. Okay, pretty good. High Noon skins. Katarina. Leona. Yep, that's Leona. Samira with the ulti. 
beautiful twitch oh twitch looks cool high noon twitch looks really really good lunar new year skins morgana nasus these skins always look so good pantheon as well ready the soul with the rework i wonder how his skins are gonna look like now as well graves lunar new year skin Zyra. Zyra just came out and she's already getting another skin. Where's the Gragas skin? Battle Academy is coming back with Caitlyn and Jace. Again, really, really nice skins. Oh, well, can we, we get the April Fool's Kindred skin. <laughs> Warden Nautilus. What's this? The Syndra release? Yeah, Spirit Blossom. Syndra release. Oh, no. Not the Pajama Guardian Ergo. <laughs> that's some pretty, like, that's some pretty cool skins there. Yeah, man, I, I am so over dragons. Oh, you're so pretty. It might take a while, but that's everything for this patch. We hope you have a blast with our new game modes. Not a bad patch. I, I feel like the point O's are not that bad. Dragons? Okay, okay, we're done. Back to the shadows with you. Thanks for watching. Back to the shadows? See you on the rift. Oh, Shadow Owls is coming back. 5.1 Shadow Isles confirmed. Wait, did he say anything else? Did I mention dragons? Okay, okay, we're done. Back to the shadows with you. Thanks for Back to the shadows with you. you. Look at that. And they have shadow isles in the background. Is there anything here? I don't think there's anything here. No. Oh, we're going to get shadow isles back in 5.1. Oh, I wonder who it's going to be. Who have we not got yet from shadow isles? We haven't got Maokai, Callista, Elise. I wonder if there's a term there in which he said, Back to the shadows with you. I'm not too sure if that's a... Back to the shadows with you. Thanks for Not too sure if that's a voice line, maybe for a Shadow Isles. Yeah, maybe I have to check it out. We'll have to check it out and see what it is. But, hey, pretty cool way to end it. Not too many, like, leaks or teasers into 5.1. But yeah, 5.0 or, like, I feel like the .0 patches in general are a little bit lighter. And then, like, 4.1, they went all out. 3.1, they went all out. And then, like, 4.0 and 3.0, they didn't really do too much. So we got three new champions, which is quite nice. A few, re quite a few reworks, actually. Reworks to Aurelium Soul, Gragas, Yumi um and wukong which is quite good then we have the um we have the alcoves which is like a little bit of an extra part to the lane in the baron lane a few new items heart still titanic hydra is going to be really good for champions like shen and baron laners spirit shojun also going to be really good uh for some bruisers in the baron lane maybe some mages as well depending on what that is the new minions are coming back in uh rift herald changes there's quite a few changes overall to be fair and then we have the new modes, arena mode updates and everything and new extra new modes. And we have all the skins. So overall, not too bad. I think overall the, the patch is decent. It's not like a, a big patch, to be honest, with only a few new items and a few new champions. But I think 5.1 will most likely be a lot bigger than 5.0 because that's kind of the theme of what we get with Wild Rift. But I hope you enjoyed my reaction anyway to patch preview for uh, 5.0. If you're looking forward to it, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you're looking forward to the most. Until next time, take care and I'll see you all in the next Wilder video. Peace.